Hey everyone, uh, this is Mr. Miller here, obviously. I'm going to talk to you today about what you need to do to be able to be successful in my classroom regarding internet websites. So when you come into a classroom for most classes, especially mine, you're gonna have to log into Launchpad. And this here on, is on the website here is Launchpad. It, you should be familiar with it. You need to, when you log in, sign in and you should sign in with the account you have. I'm just gonna sign in, or you could sign in with your Google account, just use your school account for the most part. And what you're gonna do is sign in. So you should be able to do this at home. If you don't, you need to contact me or someone like Mr. Weber or another person in the tech department. From here, what you're gonna do is, depending on what you need to do, you can go to Google Classroom. So like it's expected that we're gonna be in Google Classroom like every day, so you need to click on that. You can also go to Google Drive. So if you're working on like an essay for me or from another class that'll be there, um, that's important. This will take you to the Washington homepage. So if you need to email another teacher, you don't know the email address, it'll work just fine. This is, um, it says teachers on my end, but it should say students on your end. This is going to be where um, your online textbook is. Um, everybody virtual or in person will be using the online textbook. So that's really important as well. And at any time when you're watching this, you should probably stop and then take a look. Google Calendar to see when things are due. So if you click on it, it should show you every single thing that is due in all your classes. There's Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Gmail. These are all things I don't need to explain. Google Meets. And, and that's pretty much it for me. But right now I'm gonna show you what, how to add different things. So for you, for my class, you're going to need to add a lot of websites. It's expected that you have them so you don't have to keep searching around and everything for them, which will make life a lot easier for everything. So what you need to do is you see here by the Kenosha Unified um, sign, you need to click add, and then you're gonna type and search these certain websites. So the first website is freerice.com. Uh, this website is actually created by the World Food Program and it helps you build vocabulary. And if I ask you to do it, it helps you learn how to, it helps you learn vocabulary skills, which will help you later on down the road. And every time you get a grain of rice, I mean, every time you get a question, it earns you a grain of rice. So what you need to do is add the extension and then you got it. And then after that, what I need you to do is look up the following. So you're just here, you're gonna type in vocabulary. Vocabulary is a website that we're gonna be using a lot as well. Just click add, it's all good. Next one is NitroType. I think a lot of you know what NitroType is. It's a game that teaches you how to do that. So um, you have to go to the one that says web link because that, that's just a hyperlink. It'll take you right to the website, so you do that. Successful, NitroType, and then Quizlet. Another one you're gonna need and just click on that one. And they're both the same, so you just press add. And what is Google Earth? I'll explain these as we go in more detail. Just right now I'm showing you how to do it. You click add, all done. And then we got two more, tool builder. All right, add. And last but not least is Scootpad. This one, you need to do the second one. So always remember, you need to click on the second one. And that's pretty much how you add everything. So what should happen is, is like you see here, like NitroType, Quizlet Live, Google Earth, Vocabulary, FreeRise, these are all here. So when you log into Classroom and I tell you to go on something or a teacher tells you to go on something, you will just click right away. So that should be all good. So if you have any questions or concerns, please do let me know. Thank you for watching this video.